the lunge exercise, which is the number one exercise for the Smart Track 2000. Great exercise for the entire lower body. Really works your quads and really works your hamstrings and your glutes. Now the key here is to stabilize your upper body with the pole, keep your chest nice and high, your chin up, and just have a great time with this exercise. You want to stride forward at a nice smooth pace, reaching out and bending the knee at a right angle, and that gives you that really good quadricep development, so you nice stride out and come back up. Really a great exercise, perfect form. The Smart Track 2000 keeps you in form. And now you just go ahead and switch to the other leg. And when you switch, you just step out, place your foot in the platform, and stride forward. Now notice that the handles are facing away. The handles are in the correct position here to alleviate any stress on your wrist area. You have a nice perfect angle to come down. The knee stays behind the, the foot so you're not shearing at your knee. So this Mark Track 2000 really takes care of all the form for you. This is the reverse lunge exercise, which is actually opposite of the lunging exercise. As you push back, you really work the back of your legs and the buttocks muscles. It's great because you squat down going to a right angle while you push the leg out behind you. This is perfect form with the Smart Track 2000. This is a new exercise. You've probably never seen this exercise before. This is called the inline skating exercise. Very similar to a plie that a ballet person might do. This really works the inside of your thighs and once again tighten up that buttocks area. Great exercise for the entire lower body. This is the abduction exercise which really works the outer thigh. Now you just simply squat down. We're using one support pole to keep you in the correct position. You're really going to feel this when along the lateral part of your leg or that area we call the saddlebag. Okay, this is the ab assist exercise, and you use the knee pad, so place both knees on the platform on top of the knee pad, then you grasp the two handles, the padded handles on the trolley assist bar, and then you slowly roll out. Now, because this is an assisted exercise, the more bands or the heavier the bands you use, the easier it's going to be for you to come back up into the starting position and the harder it's going to be for you to go out. So if you're a beginner, you may want to add more bands to start this exercise so that it helps you come back to the starting position. If you're real advanced, you'll want to go down to the light gray band and go ahead and start this exercise. Great exercise for the abdominal area. Next, we have the hip thrust exercise. Take the knee pad and place it over the guides on the foot plate. Make sure it drops into place. Now, kneel down on the pad, place your hands on the platform, and push your knees outward behind you, lowering your hips. Now, the key to this is to keep your shoulders over the top of your hands as you push your knees outward. This is a great exercise for the hip and the lower back. For the next exercise, we're going to move the platform to the far end of the Smart Track 2000. So pull out the safety pin, lift up on the platform, move it to the far end. Now we're going to place it in hole number two, but you can place it in whichever hole gives you the right range of motion. Now we're going back to the other end, place our knees on the knee pad. We're going to walk forward with our hands. Grasp the sides of the platform. Now move your shoulders over to the top of your hands. And in that position, we're going to pull the knees forward, crunching, and back down. This is called the ab pull. It's a great exercise for the lower abs. This is the one exercise that really works the low abs for women. This is called the ab crunch exercise, and now we're at the opposite end of the, of the Smart Track 2000, and we have the knee pad in place, so you're kneeling on the knee pad. Now you're going to walk yourself out, and you're going to grasp the two padded handles that are on the foot plate. Now, you're going to lean forward, get into a full extended position there, and 
now you're going to pull back and come in contracting the abdominal muscles as you come in and then slowly go back out. Now what a great exercise this is for the abdominal area because we're actually using the resistance bands as we come back in. Now this may look similar to the ab assist exercise, but it's actually opposite because we're getting the resistance when we come back in and it's a really strong advanced abdominal exercise. Now this is the advanced lunge exercise. You're going to start by standing on the platform, then you're going to take a step forward into the middle of the Smart Track 2000, grasp the handles. Now go ahead and then take a half a step more and put your foot into the foot plate and you're into a full extension position right there. Get to a right angle with your, your leg that's in the foot plate and then come back up, pulling back with the leg and then back out slowly to that right angle position, back, keeping the chest up, using the handlebars to stabilize but not to pull with. So you're going to stabilize, coming back and down, back, and you're going to need a light amount of resistance on this exercise to start with because it's a very advanced form of the lunge. Really great to work the back of your legs and the buttocks area. This is the advanced reverse lunge, and we have the platform at the opposite end of the Smart Track 2000. Now, standing on the platform, we're stabilizing with the handle. Now, step back until you feel your foot come in contact with the foot plate. Now get, get your balance and then just put your foot into the foot plate and now bend at that right angle position good. Now just stand up and pull your leg forward. Perfect form, back down slowly, bend, come back up. You're really going to feel this in the front part or the hip flexors and the quadriceps of that back leg. Another great exercise for your legs to shape them, firm them, tone them and tighten them. This exercise is called adduction, and it works the inner thigh. And you just pull the outside leg toward the leg that's on the platform. This is really going to tighten and tone both the legs on the inner thigh, but specifically the one that's moving back and forth. Notice that we're using a single pull to keep your posture and to help stabilize your upper body. The Smart Track 2000 is a serious workout. In just a few days, you'll be familiar with the exercises and getting the